We're at the CJ3, and Tigre and I are going to talk to you about the pneumatic door seal on the 525 series of Citations. What happens is the bleed air from the engines comes off. It's regulated to 23 PSI service air, comes along through plumbing, comes out through this port into this port here, and then inflates the door seal. Sometimes you can get moisture in the pneumatic system, so we're going to show you how to blow that moisture out. And of course, to activate it, once we get an engine started on the right side, we're going to push this micro switch down here. When you do it, you'll see water blow out if we have any water in the system. We just did it on our other 525 series jet, and a lot came out. We're going to see if we have any in the CJ3. It's a good idea to do this, uh, just a few times a year maybe, it prevents uh, freezing in the lines. Okay, here's a micro switch. You can see I depress it in here. So that micro switch is used to tell us that the door is sealed and locked and it's activated by the pin here. So let's say, see if we bring this over. See how that pin comes out? Right now we're gonna retract it, of course, stow it. That pushes this micro, that says, hey, the door is sealed. It's one of the indications that our doors are sealed. And then that will allow us to, uh, when Tigre starts the engine, to have that 23 PSI service there. I keep on saying that because that's a term that they use in all the training that runs a lot of systems in the plane. Go through the plumbing, come out this port, go through this grommet, and then it will inflate this seal. You can see this door seal in through here, and that uh, helps our seal the door for pressurization, goes all the way around the door. Another thing, when I'm uh, inspecting the plane for pre-flight, give you a little bit of extra tip, is this pin here. Frequently, pilots don't use, look at that pin. If it is not perfectly flat, it can migrate out, and then the handle comes off. Not a good thing, especially trying to open the door. So if you ever see that raised, it's really easy to fix it. All you have to do is put an Allen key up underneath here, hex key, and just turn it, and that will just bring that pin right back down. So again, if you see that raised on the top, fix that. So on the door, we've got it in stove position. These grommets, if they're rotted, are really inexpensive to replace. Easy to get from Textron for those parts. So uh, now we've gone over the door, how it seals, how the service air works to hit this door seal. Now what we're going to do is have Tigre start the right engine. It doesn't have to be much, just long enough so that's to build up our, a little bit of our bleed air. And then we'll activate this button and you, if we have any water, it will come out of this port. Yep, I've already started the video. All right, Tigre has it all started. There's a micro switch down here. I'm gonna press that. We're gonna see if any water comes out of this puppy. See, we're pressing ours and it's dry. We live in a pretty dry environment. So it's really easy to do that and to test that. And, the air, and it comes out there. If we had any issues, water just, just spews out like it did the other day with uh, our other CJs. So it's good to be able to do that. I got this a little bit there and it just sprays right out of there, out of that port. So again, start your engine, come down here, press this button, and then the air will come right out of that service port. 